Let's make a cutouts. What is the first step, everyone? Add hydrochloric acid. Okay, so this is our cation mixture. Three squares. Okay, why do we have hydrochloric acid? To test for lead. Lead, cool. So if there um, is lead in here, what should happen? Why So add the HCl. <laughs> Anything happening? It's no. turning yellow. What are we looking for? Precipitate. Add a bit more, see what happens. Anything happening? No. no. So what does that mean? No, no. no presence of lead. Yeah, good. So the color change has got, as Hon said before, it's probably got to do with just something else reacting, some sort of complexing agent, I think. Um, but because there is no clear formation of a what color precipitate, what should we see? What, what's lead chloride? White. 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 So if there's no white, there's no cloudiness, so there is no lead within this particular sample. Okay? So we can then start, we can either progress with this one. We know there's no carbonate, so it's not going to hurt us to start with a, um, um, it's not going to hurt us to start with a, a fresh sample. Yeah? Mm. Cool. So, um, do you want to keep going with this one? Yeah. Or? yeah. Okay. What's the next step? Add sulfuric acid. Add H2SO4. What are we testing for? Calcium. Calcium. Or barium. Good. And or barium. And or barium. And barium. All right. If I add my H2SO4, mm -hmm. see so we can get a clearer color change happening now. So, what's up? When do you add the sodium hydroxide? Um, sodium hydroxide, after we've tested for um, calcium and barium, and then, then we have to distinguish between the two. Oh, okay. Once we've tested for calcium and barium, we add sodium hydroxide next. What about adding the sodium? Food? We'll get to that. So what happens is, what colour is the precipitate? Guys over here, what colour is it? White. Is there a white cloudiness? Yes. Yeah. Yep. It's not dilute yellow. Yeah, so the, it was very bright yellow, and now it's less bright, so we can assume that it's white. And then, if it's a white precipitate, it can either be calcium or barium, uh, right? We don't know which one it is. So to distinguish between um, whether it's calcium or barium, what we have to do is, what, you tell me, what do we do? Uh, sodium fluoride. Yeah, we add sodium fluoride. The reason we add sodium fluoride is because um, when you add sodium fluoride, if it forms a white precipitate, it suggests there's calcium. But if um, there's no precipitate, if the precipitate formed with sulfuric acid, then we add H2SO4, and then there's no more precipitate, then that would suggest that the barium, barium is present. We don't have sodium fluoride, so we're not going to do that step. Okay. But we can always check in a flame test. So, what do we do now? We add, add food sodium hydroxide. Yeah, so we get a fresh sample. What's the, um, can anyone see any key differences between this cation testing and anion testing? Keep yeah. yeah, we can filter and progress, but in the anion sample, it's much more integral that we filter. Because if we don't, the color change, we will, we will not be able to distinguish. But with cations, because they're different colors, we can either start with fresh samples or we can filter as well. Yeah, so we can't start with fresh samples in anion testing because then we wouldn't be able to eliminate each option, each probability. All right? So what's the next step? Add sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. What are we testing for? What could possibly happen? Um, there is a, a, blue pre um, a blue precipitate could form a green or brown. If it's blue, what would it be? Cocoa. If it's green? Um, I am two. two plus. And if it's brown? I am three plus. Good. So let's check it out. Things coming out of this. It's not a problem. I'm, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> what are we adding? NaOH. Orange. Red. No. It's red causes to brown. What is it not? It's, it's not, not blue. blue. Okay. So it means it's not. It's not copper. copper. Okay. So then we we're left with how many options? Oh, it's yeah. brown. Two. What are the two options, Krishna? Brown and green. Iron 2 and iron 3. How can we make the distinction between whether or not it's iron 2 or iron 3? 
So when we add thiocyanate, if it's blood red, then what would it suggest it is? Iron 3 plus. So we've already got precipitate in here, so we can't add it to this. What we can do is, this will settle down and it'll look really cool after a little while. But what we can do is, um, did everyone see that by the way? Yes. Just quickly. What color is it more now? Brown. 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 So what can we assume it might be? Iron 3. Iron 3. Cool, let's test it out. So what are you adding in there? <laughs> um, this is so, um, cation solution again. Oh, we're starting with a fresh sample. And we're going to add fresh sample. Okay, we don't know whether it's iron 2 plus or iron 3 plus, but we know that if we add thiocyanate ions, it should make it go. If it goes blood red, then we can confirm that it's Fe3 plus. So everyone watch it carefully. This will happen quite fast. Ew. <laughs> Looks like better than. I can explain here. Yeah. What is it? So what 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 we know is in there. Cool. So we have finished our cation testing. What did we get? What was in the sample? Ultimately. Iron Yep. What else was there? Was there lead? No, there wasn't. There wasn't lead because we didn't get a precipitate with the HCl. What else? Either calcium or calcium. It was either calcium or barium. We can't tell as of yet. Um, so there were our three that we tested for and we got. Um, Hong wants you guys to see the copper nitrate. Alright, no worries. We'll do it. So, um, just so that you guys know what the cop if there was copper in it, how we would definitely know is because we would see a very clear blue colour. I will now show you. It's blue already. What are we supposed to add to test for copper? Ammonia. Not yet. What do we add first? Sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. <coughs> Did you guys just see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going cloudy. What colour cloudy? Blue. 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 Not this light blue, it's baby blue. I think you're looking at a shirt. <laughs> yeah, that might be why. <laughs> Can you see it? So, remember when you said, how would you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because cloudiness. What was it before? It was clear like that. Yeah. But now we know there's precipitate. What colour has it gone? Light blue. Good. Did you just add ammonia? No, what do we do? Yeah, that's what we're going to do next. So what does it say we should do? Add ammonia. Yep. Yeah. And what, what should happen? It should go deep. Hold on. We'll try it with a fresh sample. This one played up the last time we were. Can you see the blueness? The deep blue, so the sort of the solution trying to form? Precipitate hasn't dissolved from our deep blue solution yet. But can you kind of see... Can you kind of see the difference between what we had before, a very clear cloudiness, but sort of what's going on up here now with the clearness of the solution? Yeah. Oh, okay. it's getting dark. I think for to get the deep blue solution, we have to add a lot more ammonia.